Lately, I have been working on platform builders for Bedrock Edition, and don't worry, that video should be coming soon. But while building it, I happened to discover something that I just have to cover right away. It turns out that on Bedrock, copper bulbs actually have a one game tick delay. Notice how this right here is very smooth, assuming my computer is actually recording that correctly. But if we try to do it entirely with just redstone lamps, uh, yeah, it's all choppy, does it in pairs. And same thing if we try to do it entirely with copper bulbs, it does it in pairs. But by mixing them together, yeah, it ends up being a nice, smooth animation. But here's the thing. This actually has a couple of uses. For most redstone parts, it does not matter how quickly you activate them, they can only trigger an observer every six game ticks. Uh, see how the observer here is not quite running at the same speed as the redstone in the background. Meanwhile, one strange result of having a one game tick delay is that the copper bulb can actually trigger an observer every four game ticks. Notice how the observer is in sync with the repeater, but the observer observing the dust uh, is going definitely slower. Unfortunately, just because you can trigger an observer every four game ticks doesn't mean you should do that on Bedrock. There is some mechanic in the game that just really does not like you triggering an observer every four game ticks. Here we just have three observers doing that in the same chunk, and all it takes is one observer triggering in the same chunk at just the wrong time, and it messes up the timing. Meanwhile, if you just barely slow it down to a 6 game tick clock, you just have to worry about not filling up the pending tick limit, and yeah, this is a lot more generous. But aside from pending tick limit and fast triggering limit, there is one other way observers can be unreliable that is far more frustrating to deal with. On Bedrock, there is currently a bug where observers have unreliable timing across chunk borders, and so sometimes this one will go uh, too early, it'll go before this one. Um, yeah, it can be a little bit hard to see though, so let's try a setup that makes it more clear. With this setup right here, uh, due to the way it works, it makes sure that one of these observers will always be early and the other will always be correct. And then we run it through this circuit over here, which tells us when the signals are out of sync. And if we just replace those observers with repeaters for a moment, uh, yeah, we can see that if you know, if they are in sync, we get nothing happening over there. But if we just barely increase the delay on one of them, now we do get a signal coming out on the other end. And replacing them back with observers again, you can see that, yeah, every single time we do this, we get a signal indicating that these two observers are not firing at the same time. And yeah, this bug can be quite annoying because, like, well, in this area, I have the glazed terracotta marking the chunk corners. But most of the time, you don't really know where the chunk borders are. And so you just kind of have to assume that every horizontal observer has unreliable timing, or you have to chunk align the build. And it's not just redstone dust. Uh, this also happens with rails, repeaters, trap doors, lamp, oil, rope, bombs. You want it? It's inconsistent, my friend unless you put it on an odd game tick delay. Or if it's an observer that is not itself looking across a chunk border. And also pistons. And also, I guess it's just worth noting that this also applies to other sources of one game tick delays, including walls, scaffolding, and even water. I can only pray that you are never in a situation where that one is useful. Anyways, a fun little fact, it was actually this experiment right here that caused me to realize that they have a one tick delay in the first place. I was just kind of testing pretty much every block, and then suddenly one of them did not do what I expected it to. Sadly, one thing that is in common between all of these odd game tick delays is that they all use pending ticks, which means that they are affected by the exact same bug as observers. Which means that some setups can be unreliable anyways if they cross two chunk borders, such as on a chunk corner, or even just double crossing the same chunk border. Except for copper bulbs, well, they would be affected by that bug, 
if they weren't just a singular block and therefore don't have to worry about chunk borders. So as of right now, copper bulbs and pistons are the only two blocks in the entire game, or 10 blocks depending on how you count it, where you can just simply power it and have an observer detect it and you don't have to worry about the chunk borders. However, with pistons, uh, if you pulse them, they can double pulse, though on a chunk border, sometimes it's a single pulse. So yeah, the biggest effect that this delay has on the game is it makes redstone work as intended. Though remember that uh, fast triggering observers from before? Uh, yeah, it turns out all of the things that are reliable on chunk borders, those are the exact same things that can trigger an observer every four game ticks. Well, minus water, because turns out a five game tick delay is not very helpful for triggering something every four game ticks. Oh right, almost forgot. Speaking of triggering an observer every four game ticks, even though the copper bulb and all those other things do let you trigger an observer every four game ticks, and it can make chunk borders reliable, you cannot do both at the same time. Sometimes it will work and sometimes it won't. Now you may be wondering, so why is it these blocks specifically? Like, how come these exact blocks interact with observers differently than everything else? Well, that is an excellent question, which will not be answered today. In order to actually explain why this happens, we'd have to go through a rather complicated part of how bedrock works. Uh, yeah. But if you are familiar with producer ticks and consumer ticks, that is actually a simplified model that does not properly explain observers. Yeah, we'd have to go over the full version of Bedrock's tick system, which, like, I, I do want to cover that at some point, but that's more like wire crossing video style thing, and we are not doing that today. Um, I'm not really sure where to put this in the video, so uh, here, I guess. As for one application of this, uh, well, here's actually a pretty nice compact four game tick clock, which, well, aside from the pending tick limit and the fast triggering limit, as far as I can tell, should be completely reliable, even if it crosses a chunk border, as well due to the way that bedrock works. Uh, this is not considered to be crossing a chunk border. And quite similar to it, here we have a six game tick clock that uses a similar mechanic. And I guess with this one, you only have to worry about the pending tick limit. While doing this, I also found this very awesome four game tick clock, because you can turn it on and off by just opening and closing the trap door. Unfortunately, this one is not reliable across chunk borders. So yeah, basically it lets you fast trigger observers and more importantly, makes redstone work as intended. So here's hoping that if Mojang decides to remove the delay, they do it after fixing the bug that makes the delay so useful. Anyways, that is all for today. Trans rights are human rights. See you next time.